Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. Today, we're gonna to look at the Greener Power, or Grenner Power, I'm not sure how they actually pronounce it, 100 amp hour lithium battery. Let's check it out. Okay guys, I've got some other stuff here too. Let's just open this thing up. Looks like it's boxed pretty well. The box got to me relatively good shape. Not perfect, but uh, you know, <laughs> not too bad. Now th this company, we'll, we'll go on the computer and look up the company a little bit. They're really into green power, electrical, electric stuff, solar, you know, lithium batteries. Let's kind of give you a little look here and we'll, I'll get up a little closer. It was packed with some nice foam. It's got a share with us deal. Okay, so I'll show that to you later. And information on the product here, guys. Let me get you guys a little closer and we'll check this thing out, how it looks. All right, first of all, let me see if I can get this just in the right spot here so you guys can read it. This is the uh, top piece that came out, the little brochure. On the back, it has a few more things. You guys can just uh, pause it if you want to read this stuff or we'll probably see it later. This is specifications, guys, it looks like. Um, you can pause that also if you wanna look at it, but we'll probably see it later on the computer. And then the back, it just shows you a few more things. Here is the battery. Looks like it's wrapped. It's, if, you look, if you guys look, it's got foam around it all the way to protect it. That's a good thing. Let's just pull it out of here now. And the bag seems to be strong enough to hold it. This thing is not super heavy, guys. Also, we have a couple bolts that go on the top of this to hook up your electrical power. Okay, your positive and your negative. All right, I'm just gonna cut a few things here. Let's see. I can figure out how to get this thing out of here and not tear everything up too bad. Oh, nice. So I'm gonna pull this down. If you notice, it's got two, two nice little handles here, guys. Um, for this, this, this kind of battery, it's probably good because this thing doesn't weigh a whole lot. Top of the battery is nice and clean. It looks like, a, looks like a PVC enclosure probably. There's the front of the battery. Nice blue color. Looks really nice, guys. Uh, hopefully it's coming out in the video. You have your positive, your negative. Oh, it already has, already has the uh, bolts inside too. So that's nice. With these nice little covers to keep to protect it from shorting out, guys. On the front here, let's see. It says LIFO4, greener power, 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hours. Lithium phosphate deep cycle battery. This is not made to start a car or anything like that, guys. This is for your, something that you want to charge and, you know, discharge and recharge multiple times. And that's the advantage of these uh, lithium batteries. They're really good at that because the life expectancy is, I believe they uh, listed as 10 years. That's about, oh, I know a regular lead acid battery in my motorhome lasts around four years. If this gets 10, it's worth the money. And this, the price on this is not too bad. I'll get that for you later. If not, it'll be in the description, guys. Front top of it, the sides, there's nothing on the back. There you go, guys. Now, most of these batteries come about 50 to 70% charge, so we're gonna charge this thing up. I am gonna use this charger. I really like this. It's a Victron Energy. It's their blue smart charger. It does 10 amps. Uh, I think this battery actually takes 20 amps, but I always like to do the lower charge. A 10 amp is pretty good for a 20 amp battery. Uh, it just, in my mind, in the past, it makes batteries last a little longer if you slow charge them. Uh, I don't wanna do it at two amps though, because eh, that's pretty slow. I'll put a, a link to this also. This has been a really good one. It actually will start batteries, lithium batteries. You know, when they get to a point, they'll cut off. I've actually hooked this to this charger. It actually start the, um, the battery back up. It'll re reboot it, so to, say, so to speak. They also have their own chargers. They didn't send me one of those. Now, I do want to thank the good folks over at Greener Power for sending this battery for me to evaluate for you guys to show how it works and how well it works. They didn't tell me what to say. They don't want to see my video uh, prior to me posting it on YouTube. So everything in this will be my own opinions. 
as usual guys i won't do it otherwise let's uh let me get this thing on a charger i'll show you the charger setup no big deal nothing really fancy but i'll show you that i charge in it we'll get it charged up and we'll put it on a, on a capacity test all right let's get to the charging and we'll do the rest of the test all right guys we're gonna hook the battery charger up to the battery and i always do the positive for some people don't think it matters i was always taught it does do it however you want to it's not a how-to all right so i hook that up first before i turn the charger on or actually not turn it on but before i plug it in and then i reverse that and plug it and then plug everything so we're gonna plug it in now at 10 amps it probably should take about 10 hours to charge my charger just popped on yeah if you look at this right now hard to see but it does it shows it's normal so i'm going to push uh, lith lion which is lithium ion so now we're on that and we're going to do normal and we're going to do 10 amps it's hard to see this guys uh sorry but that was pretty cool so we'll be back uh we'll check this thing periodically and see how it's doing like i said it could take up to 10 hours i think it'll probably take around five or six maybe seven okay I uh, took the uh, battery off the charger, took about five hours. Uh, it's been setting for about an hour. Okay, this is my tester here, guys. It's a low tester. We're gonna run about 180 watts. Let me plug it in. Okay, so it's showing 13.4 volts. I've already zeroed out, so everything's at zero. So now we're gonna turn the, turn it up a little bit. There we go. So that's 138. Let's see if I can go a little farther here. 167. There's a, oops, I went too far. Hundred and seventy three. Let me use the the fine adjustment now. We'll get as close to 180 as we can. That's the max for this guy's. Okay, there's 180, so we're 14 amps. The cool thing about this is I can just leave it, come back in about four or five hours, test it, it'll give me all my information. All right, we'll come back to this when it's done and uh, see if this thing passes. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's 12.5 volts now, 14.3 amps, 179 watts, so around 180. We're at 57.35 amp hours. And that is at four hours and five minutes. All right, guys. So here's the uh, website. This is uh, Amazon. Uh, I didn't find an actual website for them other than the Greener Power Store here. And we'll go to that in just a second. But this is the battery that I, I'm testing. It's their 12.8 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hours. It's currently selling for $206 as of 11, 15, 23. There's the uh, makeup of the batteries there. It looks like four cells. Uh, BMS, superb cells for 1280 load power. Um, and then we've got the, uh, it just tells what it is. It shows it with an MPPT and an inverter. Just, a, just something you'd have at your camp or your uh, house there. So right here, it's just showing what it can, uh, like 1.2 hours on a coffee maker, six hours on a slow cooker, 2.56 for a hair dryer, 500 watts. And it, it tells the watts all down there. And then it's showing it, you know, you can use it for your, uh, your RV. That's what a lot of people are going to use these for. And just more different things, RV, camping, uh, fish finders, you know, guys that have boats and stuff, these are, uh, these lithium batteries are great for this because they, even if you run some solar to it, they charge faster than a lead acid. They're way lighter. It's not a starting battery. That's the one thing that they want to stress here. It's not for starting your cars. They do make those in lithiums, but they're, they're not as prevalent out there in the market. So it shows 22.57 pounds. Uh, that's probably pretty accurate. It's pretty light, way lighter than a lead acid. They're showing lead acids at 63. I've, ha I've had lead acids that are heavier than that. 
that I've used for my RVs in the past. Shows 4,000 plus cycles, uh, no maintenance, and with the BMS here. I do not believe this has the low temperature on it though, guys. All right, so now we're at um, 102.10 still going 1274 on the watt hours it's below my uh, set uh, voltage though so this thing passed it did 100 amp hours so that's a good and that's right there you can see it right there right there 102.15 and then 1275 on the watt hours all right guys so that greener power battery did really well. It's a 100 amp hour battery. It, uh, I turned it off at 102 or 103 or something like that. It was still going. So more than passed this test, over 100% there, guys. So these batteries are getting better and better all the time. And the price has been coming down a lot lately too. At least in the last year or so, the prices have come down way down on these batteries. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button if you would. Hit the bell, hit all. That way you get all my future videos. And I've got some more tests coming up. I've, one of my next videos coming up is a solar panel you guys are probably going to like a lot. So I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Adventures, 73 all, and uh, hope to catch you guys on the airwaves. Or, you know, maybe you'll power that new radio up with a, a new battery from, uh, from Greener Power.